I'm Mark Sodonik with GSG. Today in the Applications Lab here in Dallas, we're going to be doing a two-color print on athletic heather garments featuring Aviant Infinite Effects Brittle Base. Brittle Base is a really unique ink. It makes some really cool special effects. What it does is after you print it, it goes to the dryer, it cures, it becomes, like the name, very brittle. It'll actually break, pull apart, and give your design a worn, distressed look that'll continue to, we'll just say, deteriorate or crack after each time that it's washed. It's not gonna fall off of the shirt, it's just gonna continue to break and break till finally you have an old style 70s looking worn t-shirt. So let's go on press and we'll see how it's done. For this design, our first screen is gonna be a 200 mesh and we're using Aviant Infinite Effects Fashion Soft Base of which we added 10% of Rio Black into it. We're gonna print this through a 200 mesh screen. We're gonna use a single durometer, which is gonna be a 70 for our squeegee. We're gonna go ahead and do one print then we're gonna do our Aviant Infinite Effects Brittle Base on top. For our second screen, we have an 83 mesh and we have a 50 micron stencil on this. We want a little thicker stencil so we can get a heavy deposit of the Infinite Effects Brittle Base down. So when we crack it, it has a really nice snap to it and it's just gonna show for future washes that it's gonna continually break down. So we're gonna use a 55 durometer, which is a really soft squeegee. We're gonna do two print strokes we're gonna flash it and we're gonna do two print strokes on top of that and then run it through the dryer. Now that we've flashed, we're gonna hit it two more times and then we'll run them through the dryer. This is gonna be a standard cure of 320 degrees. We do have our dwell time slowed down somewhat because Brittle Base really likes the heat. It takes a little bit of extra heat to fully cure, especially with a thick deposit. So we get that really nice break and we have a really good distressed look. Here you have our finished print after we broke it apart when it came through the dryer. Remember, if you're printing with Brittle Base, after it comes out of the dryer, let it sit and cool down so it's really cool to the touch before you try to break it. The ink just needs to harden up over a little bit of time while it cools down. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on Avian inks and their whole line of infinite effects, specialty bases, visit gogsg.com and thanks for watching.